I say, Mrs. Raleigh, would you mind keeping General Crest in company? Well, I... Thank you very much. <laughs> that was a very sweet gesture you made. I uh, beg your pardon? I miss the hours I shared with you. Your happy smile, your lovely laugh. Oh, that, that's nothing. I enjoy translating that song for the boys. Translating? When I got the note, I thought... I am sorry. How could I be so foolish to think that you would write those words to me? You mean that you thought I... I... You know? If I went such a monumental stuffed shirt, I would have written those words to you. Forgive me. Dear. So I gave them to myself. Loving children so, I used to babysit for my neighbors as a favor. They didn't know it was a favor to me. Those pictures in my wallet are all those youngsters. Tell me, when did they become your grandchildren? Well, it happened one day in the market. My wallet was lying open, and the clerk asked me if they were my grandchildren. And I said, yes. I felt so happy and proud. And then people started to look at me differently. And they would ask me advice about their children. And that's why you became the expert on the ship. Well, I wasn't really hurting anyone, was I? You know, half my life is wrapped up in this old wallet. If I ever tossed it overboard, I'd sink with it. <laughs> Do you know what you need, darling? A life preserver. Me. <laughs> would you like to get married again, or would you like a burial at sea? What's the difference? <laughs> Pay attention. You next? <laughs> well, I forgot to tell you, there's a rule in our company about married couples. Only one member can work there. Oh, don't worry. You'll find another job. <laughs> we are gathered here to witness these two lovely people being joined together in holy matrimony. Do you, Elizabeth Raleigh, take this man to be your lawful wedded husband? To love and cherish till death do you part? I do. And do you, Thomas Creston, take this woman to be your lawful wedded wife? To have and to hold till death do you part? Indeed I do, Captain, indeed I do. By the authority vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You got married so fast, I didn't have a chance to get your wedding gift. Well, I could use a new wallet with lots of room for photos. What for? I don't have any grandchildren. Who knows? Maybe you two will start your own family someday. <laughs> Hold it. 